Okay, good morning. Welcome everyone to this talk. Maybe you already noticed that the title is a little bit different of what was announced. So, my, the first thing we are going to do is introduce the team that is me with here today. So, we have Klaus, who is our product manager for SUSE Manager, and we have Jan as well, who is our full stack developer. And uh, my name is Julio, I'm the release engineer for SUSE Manager. My first question is, who in this room does know anything about SUSE Manager or Spacewalk? Okay, cool. So, how many people is using any of those solutions? Don't worry. Okay, so first I would like to talk to you a little bit about the Spacewalk, which is a free and open source solution for system management, which was started by Red Hat. You have the website there. It was started around 2018, and it's the base, the upstream code for Red Hat Satellite 5, but for SUSE Manager as well. It's free software, of course. But uh, one of the problems is right now is in maintenance mode and the future is not so clear. Maybe you are already aware that Red Hat started Red Hat Satellite 6, which is not related in any, in any way to spacewalk. So people is not sure of what is going to happen about it. Most probably it will be closed as soon as Red Hat Satellite 5 is uh, is out in two years. So we have then SUSE Manager as well, which is the SUSE sensor to Red Hat Satellite. It's a, an opinionated branch of Spacewalk with a lot of new features that you will not see there. We have simple installation, but most important, we have configuration management with SALT because SUSE Manager includes a SALT master that, we, that you can use for all of your instances. We have, as well, integration with containers and Kubernetes. Uh, if, you want, if you come to the workshop tomorrow, you will see a lot of this. And uh, finally, another important feature is that the web interface is based on React. So you don't have this old uh, Java, um, <laughs> this old and clunky Java stuff. So quick show of hands. Who have known, knows about Salt? from salt stack. Okay, almost the same. Uh, who of you does anything with containers or Kubernetes? Only a few. So you should attend another talk about containers. Cool stuff. Okay, thank you. Okay, so as discussed, there is a relationship between SUSE Manager and Spacewalk because Spacewalk is in fact the upstream for SUSE Manager. Right now, we are going to release really soon SUSE Manager 3.2, which is based on the latest Spacewalk 2.8. But SUSE Manager, of course, as a Spacewalk, is open source. The only thing is that right now the development is closed. So you can have the source, but uh, it's not easy contributing to it. Anyway, SUSE is, and it will be still contributing to Spacewalk. Here you can see, for example, one, of, uh, one, shot, one screenshot with some of our developers' uh, commitment to the Spacewalk project. As you can see, there is something interesting, and it's that the trend was of heavy contribution until more or less 2014, and it is slowed down after that. The reason is one of the other problems we have right now, and it's the launch of Red Hat Satellite 6. So let's say that Red Hat doesn't have so much interest anymore on Spacewalk. So those are the problems we have right now. The Spacewalk team is not as big as it used to be after Red Hat Satellite 6. So there are, there are no reviews or integration of the patches that we are sending. Some of them yes, but most of them no, because there is no time for them and not enough people to, to have a look. And 
the more time it passes, the more difference we have on our code right now. Also, we believe that Spacebot has no vision or future for the project. You can see this quote from the Spacewalk FAQ. So Red Hat code contributions will decrease over time because the focus shifted to maintenance and stabilization of the current set of futures. So no more new futures for Spacewalk. Also, of course, the community is concerned about, uh, about what's going to be in the future. So this quote is, for example, from the user mailing list. People is uh, worried that uh, slowly Red Hat will allow Spacewalk to die. So, and quite interesting to see that there is a very active Spacewalk community. Um, why? Because the jump from Spacewalk to the Satellite 6 uh, code base, Catello, Foreman, and so on, is pretty big. So if you are used to Spacewalk and the ease of use of Spacewalk, jumping over to a Catello, Foreman is a, a huge step, especially for enterprises where they need to retrain uh, uh, all their people. So um, if you follow the Spacewalk, uh, mailing list, uh, it's pretty active, uh, many people are on there, um, but yeah, they don't know about uh, the future. So, as you can see, this is one of the problems we have with the pull request. This one was created on 2015, and if you go to the Spacewalk project, you will see that this is still not merged. Or this other one is exactly the, the same case, and those are just two examples. There are many more. So the fact is that uh, Spacewalk asked for help, and until April this year, there was a request for people to help and take over the project, maybe not right now, but in the near future. Um, to be fair here, um, Red Hat changed the FAQ in April. So the quote you see here is what we took as a base when we approached Red Hat about, yeah, you ask for someone to take over, here, we are this someone and we would like to help and we would like to take over. Uh, meanwhile, they changed the FAQ, so this quote you won't find online, but you will find it in the Git history. So, our answer to this is, please welcome Uyuni, which is the name that you see now on the title of the conference and in our t-shirts. Uh, we wanted in the end to take over the Spacewalk project. We set up, we set up this uh, open source conference as a deadline, but in the end, after discussions with Red Hat, this was not possible anymore. So this is the new name of the project. There is no need for you to take a picture of all the URLs because you have the QR code in case you want to take a picture with your phone. Anyway, anyway, the website is uh, already online. And why a uni? Well, uni, well, sadly the image is not complete here. <laughs> but okay, uni, uni is the biggest salt uh, flat in the world, which is in Bolivia. And well, the joke here, of course, is that we are using salt a lot inside our project. So the name is our tip of head to uh, SaltStack for their awesome salt tool. So one of the questions about the future is how is going to be the relationship with uh, Spacewalk? Well, this split is friendly, but we will have separate communities. Spacewall is not going to be any longer the upstream for Uyuni, Uyuni and neither SUSE manager, but of course there will be code moving from Spacewalk to Uyuni and from Uyuni to Spacewalk as needed. 
This means that we are not going to break the compatibility on purpose, but like right now, we will not prevent further improvements because of that reason. So, our vision for the future of Uni is that for this summer, we want to have fully open development. This means that we will have a public GitHub repository, an OBS project, and I guess that everyone here is aware of OBS. We will have public continuous, continuous integration, open mailing lists, maybe an IRC channel as well, and of course, the most important, a first release based right now on OpenSUSE LIB 42.3. Then after that, but we still don't have a strict timeline, we will work on the next release, which will be based on the new OpenSUSE version, LIB 15. And we want to release the model, uh, to define the releasing model together with the community. So we still don't know if we are going to have rolling releases or releases each month, each six months. This is something we want to discuss with all the users that will, we hope will come uh, from the Spaceboard community and from, um, and from the OpenSUSE community, of course, and even outside. So with uh, Leap 15 out since yesterday, you might be a bit disappointed that Uni will be based on Leap 42. But um, the problem here is Java and Python, which are the main languages used in this project. And especially the switch to Python 3 is much more work than we anticipated. And uh, yeah, we are also looking for help here. We have uh, many code, um, much of the code already ported, but uh, yeah, going to Leap 15. Um, also with um, a new Java, especially looking at uh, Oracle's uh, Java release model, uh, where they, I think they released Java 10 and gave it a lifetime of six months. It's a bit hard for us. We also, uh, the main team currently working on this is working for SUSE Manager, and we will have a SUSE Manager release next month so the team is currently busy on this release, um, but we will then find time to work upstream for Uni. Um, open, open all the source code on GitHub and start the work on Leap 15 with hopefully an initial Leap 15 based release sometime in autumn. Yeah, and one of the problems we have here as well, and, and we need to work that out, is that the Python change is not only for the source code we created or we changed from a space world, but we have some external dependencies like Cobbler for the bare, bare metal machines. And well, for this, for example, we will need to take decisions with the community if we are going to adapt it to Python 3 or maybe just consider some different solution to handle that. So, as said before, Uni will be the upstream for SUSE Manager in the same way that we have open SUSE for SUSE. The filters from, will come from the Uni team and of course from the community, so we are ready to accept all your ideas, all, all the ideas from the other people, and just some examples. We don't think that Uni needs to be restricted only to OpenSUSE. Right now we have support or, or Uni is able to work not only with uh, SUSE and OpenSUSE, but with CentOS and with Red Hat Enterprise Linux, Linux as well. But we would like to add support, of course, for Debian, Ubuntu, or any other distributions that the community can consider interesting. And not only Linux, well, maybe if somebody wants to add support to VSD or to MacOS or to Microsoft Windows, that should be possible as well. 
translations or any idea that the community can have about the future. So, and if anyone thinks that um, Windows, that sounds strange. Well, we have code ready to manage Windows. It is possible through the uh, manage, uh, Windows management in instrumentation. And it maps quite well uh, to Uyuni. So, can, how can you be part of our community? At this moment, you can uh, follow the Twitter. By the way, you will find the correct <laughs> Twitter account at the website because I didn't change it, change it here. You can already sign up at our mailing list. Right now, it's only for announcements, but this will change really, really soon. And of course, you can spread the word about this new project. And for the new future, and that means in the following weeks, some of these things, and during the summer others, you will be able to report problems and wishes. You will be able to, re uh, to report it uh, initially via the mailing lists or maybe IRC. And during the summer, of course, via GitHub issues. Uh, most important, you will be able to fork the GitHub project and send us your pull requests. And I don't want to scare anyone away at this point, but um, this project is not a simple configure and make. It's much more complex. So we welcome contributions, but uh, you should really start with one of uh, the pre-packaged versions or even the um, uh, vagrant images we will distribute and start from from there but it's it's complex it's it's a beast lots of java code tomcat and so on but i would say i would say that anyway you don't need to rewrite the whole <laughs> the whole uni code base you can start with as always, with small fixes, uh, learning all the stuff that uh, we have inside. Yeah, well, in, in this case, it's especially important to have good communication with us, with the team. We are always happy to give you some pointers, help you with some stuff to begin with the code base. And yeah, it's like always, maybe it's the best idea to uh, pick up some small, small, tiny bugs to get used with the code base. And yeah, we're always there to give you a hand. So, the interesting thing is that tomorrow at uh, 1 p.m. we are going to have a, a workshop at the room 305. So, it will be a practical demo of Uyuni and this means we are not going to show it on the screen. You will install it on your laptops using background images, you will practice installation, you will use it to manage OpenSUSE lib instances you will learn how to build, publish, and manage Docker images as well. And you will take this installation with you so you can play at home, at the office, or where, wherever you want. So remember, tomorrow at 1 p.m. at room 305. And there is something important as well. Those images are pretty big around 50 gigabytes, so it will take a lot of time downloading them on the Wi-Fi here. So we are going to stay upstairs at uh, the room 322, and you can come there today or tomorrow before the workshop to download, to download the images. You can just plug in, your, in our network and in 10 to 15 minutes, you will have everything you need to run the workshop tomorrow. So, at this point, I guess that you should have some questions that we are happy to answer about this, about uh, the relationship with Spacewalk, the future, how you may contribute, or 
whatever you can think of about. So, we are ready for questions. Too much for everyone, yeah. <laughs> you can ask what is salt or whatever you want, but we will, have, we will give short answers. That's correct. Yeah. It will work with OpenSUSE, with Fedora, with CentOS, with RHEL, with uh, Oracle Enterprise Linux, and so on. Will it work with both Leap and Tumbleweed? Yes. Uh, there's one catch. And uh, Julio already mentioned it. The images you will download for the workshop tomorrow is 50 gigabytes. Why? Because it contains all the distribution packages. So with Tumbleweed, you will have the problem that you will have a lot of downloads to keep the packages in your, your Uni instance up to date, because this is the core of this uh, project. It, ha it, it knows about the all the packages and it knows about all the packages which are on this on your clients and can can do version comparison and can tell you hey on this client you need to update your kernel or whatever so this is the main problem with problem in quotes with tumbleweed and of course most of your clients will be always out of date <laughs> Um, there is already code inside for uh, Debian Ubuntu, but it's not heavily tested. And also on the space for community, there are questions once in a while. Some people get it to work, others don't. Um, so this is currently un uncertain. But um, the the basic operations are not tied to any specific operating system. So we know that Spacewalk in the past um, worked with um, Solaris, for example. But the code is unmaintained and the state is unknown. And in case you don't intend to um, install uni yourself, then uh, if you're working in a company or at a university, talk to your sysadmin and spread the word. Any other questions? Then again, we will welcome you for the workshop tomorrow and remember to come up upstairs to get your images. And we will be around. You can recognize it, us because we have these t-shirts when we are the only ones yet. Thank you. Thank you very much.